choosing to work abstractly is choosing to give up a lot of control to how people react to your work. Because abstraction is, is fairly wide open and people bring their own stories to it. So perhaps that's the best possible result. That in looking at these pieces, people will bring their own stories and let that be an exchange. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe your title for the show, which you came up with, which is called This Is Not a Dream? Oh, yes. Um, I think the initial shock in the first weeks of the pandemic left me and probably a lot of people waking up in the morning and in those first few moments just planning for a regular day. Just, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call a friend. We're gonna go out and have coffee. We're gonna, I'm gonna go to the studio. All of those things that would just happen. And then in the next moment, I think, oh, no, that's not real. That's totally not happening. And that disconnect was really intriguing to me because it seemed so universal. It seemed like everyone was feeling that. And I did every day from the beginning come down to the studio. And I walked down here from work and I walked past the train tracks and there were graffiti on the sides of boxcars that were so informative. It was always a wake up call. And there was one in particular that said, we're, we're not getting out of this. And it was a message about being trapped. So I thought, okay, let's just go really deeply into that. And I come down here and I just paint. I just let paint go across things. And gradually, some things started to emerge. These are just three of five pieces that are really the, the title series of the show. This is not a dream and um, in some ways that sounds harsh but I think understanding and probably as deeply as we can emotionally and objectively what's going on right now and being with this situation is really important for all of us. Um, it's certainly important for me. And I wanted to explore the reality of what we're dealing with. Um, the first piece in this series is at the far right, at my far right. And it's um, it was made without my knowing what it was. And yet when it was finished, I understood that it certainly had something to do with confinement and being boxed in. And um, that sudden and slightly scary contraction of one's world. And um, the piece next to it is actually the last in the series, and it has to do with accounting. And um, so much of what we understand about this pandemic has come to us in terms of data, in terms of numbers and information that is numerical which 
makes it difficult sometimes to understand that all the numbers represent lives, represent human um, concerns. The third piece is about social unrest, mm -hmm. which is interesting that this came at this time and um, seems so connected to what we're experiencing. The name of this piece is Monuments, mm -hmm. and it's about monuments that are crumbling. Mm -hmm. Maybe ideas that are crumbling, um, ways of dealing with things culturally that are being undermined. And you're in front of this wonderful series. It's, it's three six canvas sets. Can you tell us about any of those? Kind of yes. what the titles are, how they came about? Well, this was later in this process. In fact, I thought that I pretty much had the show wrapped up. And then um, toward the end of July, I had the opportunity to go with two other painters to the Westerbeck Ranch in Sonoma and spend a month. But when I went, I thought, well, I want to do something that challenges me. So I took acrylic paint, which I know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> and I started just painting on paper, just painting grounds, just to draw. And um, we were staying in the main house. And in the house, there was, the, the house is incredible. It's a 1930s adobe. And there on the coffee table was a small book about adobes in New Mexico, the ones that were built at the beginning of the 20th century mostly. And in that book, there was a page on roof lines with little diagrams of rooftops. And it simply landed with me in a big way about the subject of shelter and that being confined is also sheltering and the roofs created a shelter and the blue the sky is a larger shelter and i knew that that's exactly what i wanted to work with so you're talking about the blue series right behind yes, you yes yes what about but the one the on the left series yeah a much much different feeling um I started these with really nothing in mind. I just thought, well, I'll make some, some yellow, some gold browns, and I'm going to draw on them. And I sent one home via email to my husband and said, what do you think of this? He said, it looks like a, a play structure <laughs> out in some unknown universe. <laughs> I thought, ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I didn't know that, <laughs> but working with them made me think about the nature of play and how critical it is when things are closing in, when times are extremely difficult, that we allow room for that, for imagination, for the idea, even if the play is only in our minds really need it. And that had actually been reinforced by um, a drawing class that I was offering during the pandemic. I thought, well, people just need to be able to do something. They need to make art work. So many people are feeling blocked. So um, we started a little drawing group, which grew exponentially, but touched upon that need that we all have to just in the middle of extreme difficulty to to lighten a bit and to um, to use our imaginations to take us into different places. Then the split screens behind you. I know you were talking in your statement a little bit about. Um, Obviously, we're looking at a lot of screens, but they're both very different, the, the diptychs. Can you talk a little bit about them? Um, if we watch television at all, 
especially the news, what we see so often is a split screen. And it's always seemed to me like it's, um, there's always a disconnect between the two things and that our attention is being manipulated in a strange way. But these screens are more about balance. And um, the, the pieces that have a lot going on are just that. There's a lot going on. Our attention is jerked around in so many different directions right now that it's hard to, to stabilize. And yet, what we're wanting so often is this. And so, whenever this occurs, it can balance that other um, busyness, which in and of itself is not a bad thing. We need to give our attention to what's going on, but we also need to rest.